Hey you! What up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Mariam. This is my new filming setup. Let me know how you like it. But in today's video, I am going to be going over the new Hot Tropics collection from Jaclyn Hill and Jaclyn Cosmetics. So in this collection, we have two types of highlighters, a liquid and also a cream powder. We also have some cream bronzers. We have some lip oils. I am going to be swatching all these products on my face, on my bare face. And then of course, I'm going to add a face base and apply all of these products to my face to create this look. Of course, expect a first impressions type of verdict at the end. Team Truth style as always and per usual. And with that said, let's get into this video. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into this video. Jaclyn Cosmetics Hot Tropics Collection. Is it hot or not? Let's find out. Alrighty, here we go. Here is the PR package of the Hot Tropics collection by Jaclyn Cosmetics. So in this PR package, which again, I have to give it to them. It looks very nice, very professional, very cool. I love this image of Jaclyn in the pool. It's just so tropical. It's so beautiful. I love the bronzy turquoise vibes. It's just so nice. We have a little quote from Jaclyn as we always do. When I think of summer, it's all about bronzed, highlighted, sunkissed skin and glossy lips. So I'm bringing you just that. We also have this outer package with the leaves motif. Love it, love it all. I'm here for the summer vibes. I am a summer gal, so all of this is up my alley. In this collection, we have two types of highlighters. First, we have the powder highlighter, and this one looks so, so sparkly. I'm gonna show you a close-up. It is the sparkly sparkliest, the most mesmerizing looking highlighter I've ever seen. I don't know if it's gonna be sparkly on the face though. I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. So now this is called the Reflective Light Putty Highlighter. It is $29, a bouncy metallic highlighter that melts onto the skin for a mermaid wet look, four shades. The second highlighter in this collection is actually a liquid highlighter. So we have this one in three shades. This one is $24, a lightweight sparkling liquid gel that's like a drop of luminosity wherever you apply it, available in three shades. I'm gonna swatch all of those on my bare face. For now, I just wanna introduce you to the product. Next, we have the Putty Bronzer. So it's actually called the Sunkissed Cream Bronzer, $29, available in five shades. This creamy matte bronzer delivers a sun-kissed glow and a soft focus finish. Very interesting. Last but not least, we have the lip oil. So now this is called the Pout Drip Hydrating Lip Oil, $20, four shades. A popsicle drip sheer tinted lip oil that glides on easily for a juicy, voluptuous look. I think we need to start with this one. Yes, I'm gonna be doing swatches of everything, including the lip oils, and then after I've swatched everything on my skin, I am going to basically apply everything. And I'm gonna use the shades that I think are the most meant for me. Okay, so let's start with the lip oil. The first one is called Crystal Drip and it's basically a clear lip oil. Woo! So now the applicator here is massive, but let's see. Right, so it's not as sticky as a gloss, but it definitely has the shine of a gloss. Feels very comfortable on the lips. You can apply as little or as much as you like. Basically, it's just going to enhance the natural color of your lips. Crystal drip. Gonna blot that off real quick and onto the next shade. This one is called Rose Drip. Looks beautiful in the tube, kind of like a, excuse me, kind of like a coral popsicle shade. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think this would be my favorite for every day. It's just so comfortable. It looks like the color of my lips, just a little bit better with that hint of color. Uh, mm, ma, 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 ma. I am noticing a little bit of goopiness with this shade, mm. but the color is very pretty. Did not notice any of the goopiness with the clear one, but okay, noted. I will say it definitely does feel a little bit thicker than an oil. It's not quite like a gloss, but not quite like an oil oil. And then after you remove, it definitely leaves your lips a bit sticky. All right, next step we have the shade ruby drip but it doesn't look ruby at all it looks very orange oh now you see there's pigment to these lip oils there's definitely color here this one is stunning i mean just so so pretty i don't even have any foundation on and i'm clearly you know breaking out in certain areas but it somehow is making my complexion look a little bit better i like this shade not as much goopiness blotting that off 
a little bit of stickiness there. And the last color we have is Candy Drip. So now this one is a little bit more ruby. It has, I will say, pink and red undertones. It's kind of like watermelon. Glides on easily, feels cute and comfortable. And hydrating too. Made in the USA, by the way. All right, so I'm actually gonna leave this one on. It feels really comfortable on the lips. And my lips are always on the dry side, so I always like to have some sort of a balm or some sort of a something on my lips, even when I do these videos. Moving right along. Let's go for the bronzer first. So ignore this massive Zistica that I have here. I had a bit of an accident last night, tried to extract a pimple, but then something next to it burst. I'm sorry, TMI, but that's literally what happened. And now I'm stuck with this vicious, hideous, very swollen red area here on my jaw that hurts, by the way. I did it to myself. Anyway, moving right along. So now there are five of these cream bronzers all together, starting with the shade Nakey, going all the way to the shade Sunny, which seems to be the deepest one, but it doesn't really look too deep to me with the naked eye on camera, perhaps it does, but I'm gonna have to swatch these to really find out. So let's go ahead and get started with the shade Nakey. All right, this feels pretty creamy. Very, very light, very light. It has just like a hint of yellow. So I'm not sure who exactly this would be a bronzer for. I guess maybe a very, very fair skin tone because in here, it almost looks like a foundation shade. You know those like old mousse foundations from Maybelline or from L'Oreal? I wanna say they're like from 15 years ago, but perhaps they're from 20 years ago? I don't know. This is what it's kind of reminding me of. Interesting. Definitely has that moussey finish too. Let's see how it blends out. Hmm, blends out to a solid, kind of pretty, but can you even see that on my face? I mean, should I even keep going? This is very, very light for me, but the quality is really nice. I see that it's made in Italy. Hmm. There's 15 grams in this. Interesting. Putting that down, moving on to the next shade, which is called Sandy. Now, Sandy looks a bit deeper in the pot, but let's see. Oh, girl, this is really, really light. I don't know if you can effectively bronze up with this shade. Definitely not for contouring, that's for sure. But the fact that it's giving subtle color is cool. Even so, for someone like myself, I would need something a pinch more olive and deeper, a few shades deeper for it to really work with my skin tone. So you know where I'm getting at here. Shade range so far is looking a little, a little leaning towards one side. Gonna remove that very quickly. Man, this is so ugly. Sorry guys. Next shade we have here is called Beachy. Wait, I don't understand. Okay, here we go. I clearly needed to pick up a lot more color. So Beachy definitely has a little bit more color. I don't know. I still don't feel like this is bronzy enough for even my medium complexion, unless you really build it up, but then it actually kind of feels like a lot of product. But up close, the product itself, the formula, the texture, the finish, looks very smooth. It's not sticking to any of my imperfections. It's not clogging my pores, you know? It looks very, very seamless. And I guess this shade would probably be a shade that I could reach for if I'm going for a very subtle, very believable bronzy glow. All right, gotta mark that down, beachy. Next up we have Toasty. Ah yes, okay, so Toasty is looking a little bit more olive on me and just a little bit more sun-kissed. And so this is the vibe that I like. I think this looks pretty unbelievable, like I have an actual tan. Okay, I'm not gonna blend it out too far so you can really see the color. The blend is very nice though. Once again, I gotta give it to them. The product itself feels very good quality. Let me remove that. All right, so now we've made it to the final bronzer shade. And this is the shade that's called Sunny. And it's the deepest shade of the bunch. I'm gonna test it out over here. This one has a redder undertone, but I don't think this is a bronzer that is suitable for the deepest of skin tones. It's very subtle, even on me. So I'm thinking that this really wouldn't work for anyone who's deeper than a caramel complexion. Hmm. Okay, well, there we go. Here's Sunny. All right, I'm gonna remove all of that and I'm gonna move on to the highlighters. So first I'm gonna try out the liquid highlighters starting with the shade Lightning, which is the lightest one. Ooh, so now this is supposed to give you that wet mermaid looking finish and I think it delivers. This is very beautiful, very dewy, very, very easy to apply and blend out. This is stunning. I love this shade. Oh my gosh. 
and the finish looks very wet. It looks very dewy, not metallic, but just like you're a mermaid fresh out the water. I see it and I like it. Okay, next we have high gleams. So let's test that out on the other side of the face. Oh, 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 oh. this has almost like an oily texture, an oil slash gel type of finish that is just so delicious. I mean, this I would probably wear all over my body, like all over my chest, all over my shoulder blades, my collarbone, like say when I'm at the beach for a no makeup, makeup, glowing goddess type of look. This is stunning. Ooh, and the formula. Where is this made again? Italy. I knew it. Okay, this is good. Okay, and the last one that we have here is called Sun Glare. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like on me, but I think it's gonna be too dark for me to use as a highlighter. But the fact that it has this nice undertone makes it a product that could be versatile to use, say, on your body. Like, for example, my legs are a lot darker than my face. My arms are a lot darker than my face. Or my chest, which isn't really darker than my face, but can use a little bit of bronzing. This would be a product that I could potentially use on my chest as an all over glow, just because the consistency, just because it feels like an oil, something that is very easy to use and blend out. But yeah, this would be a lovely liquid highlighter for deeper skin tones or a bronzy, glowy type of beach product for everybody else. Removes very easily too. Doesn't feel like my face is flushing from all the wipes. I mean, so far, I gotta say, this is my favorite product from this collection. I have not tried the putty highlighter yet. So let's put that to the test. Starting with the first shade. This one is called Glazed Out. I mean, I mean. I'm actually gonna swatch that on my hand first. <gasps> um, wow. This is like literal insanity. Okay, Jacqueline. What? What? I almost feel like this is too much, but it's so stunning and so breathtaking. You definitely need the smallest amount of product here. You could probably even apply that with a wet sponge. But oh, holy shit, is this crazy beautiful. Okay, highlighter queen. Okay, next we have Star Power. All right, I'm gonna swatch that on my hand first. Holy crap. And I'm gonna use whatever's remaining on my finger to apply here. Holy crap. All right, so this is a little too bronzy for me. When I shift my face, you can almost see the color shift. So this would probably be good for someone who is tanner than me, say a caramel complexion. But again, something that I could use on my shoulders, on my body, or even if I blend it out, I could probably use it as is. It looks kind of skin matching now. Wow, this is promising. Okay, next we have a beautiful golden highlighter. This one is called Sun Lover. It's me. Bam. Bam. And bam. Okay, this is divine. Absolutely divine. Oh, so good. So, so good. Really feels very creamy on the skin. And now for the final face swatch, we have Skylight. Kind of looks like a rose gold to me. This would be great for deeper skin tones. This is a lovely coppery reddish sort of highlighter. Just very beautiful. And again, very creamy and blinding. I really honestly can't complain. Ooh. Honestly, I feel like that highlighter looks like liquid diamonds. Yeah, these are insane. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I have not. And like also, how can a highlighter feel nourishing on your face? It just feels so dewy and so right, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is actually apply my face base, my foundation, my concealer, and then I'm gonna apply all of these shades, just like my favorite ones, in the way that I would apply them for the real life. So let's do it. Alrighty, so let's apply my face. I have this Joa Pore Deactivator Primer. Ooh, looks interesting. Okay, for my face today, I'm gonna be using the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade St. Moritz, which is medium one, Bobbi Brown brush. Just give myself a very light, natural, summery base. All right, cute. Concealer, Fenty Bright Fix. You already know, and I grabbed the wrong shade. One size translucent setting powder for the under eye. Blending fluff, no name brush. 
And now for the bronzer. So I am gonna grab that shade Toasty, which was the second to last shade. And I am going to apply that with this Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. It's kind of a duo fiber brush. I'm wondering how this would apply if I just stipple it on. So let's go for it. Just a bit to the forehead. Okay, so when you stipple it, this shade actually comes off as a lot darker and a lot more pigmented. So keep that in mind that if you're using your fingers, it's going to look its most natural. But I do like the way that it blends out with the brush. You can easily make it look very, very seamless. She's looking bronzed up. I'm actually gonna use a bit of that shade on this Pat McGrath brush. Same shade, Toasty. Pick up just a smidge. I'm gonna add that to my eye socket, just to the outer portion, just to give my eye a little bit of definition and to tie everything together. And honestly, I like the way that that looks. That blended out really, really easily. I like it. Next, I'm gonna go for that Beaming Booming Liquid Highlighter. Add a little bit, just one drop, to the back of my cheekbone and one here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my finger. Oh, I love that oily type of consistency. It's so nice and it gives such a pretty dew, such a pretty, pretty highlight. Oh, like literally you could just stop here. So good. Okay, next I'm gonna set my whole face with my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil in Sheer Medium. This is the pressed powder version. You already know I love this pressed mineral veil. Or maybe you don't already know. If you don't already know, you should watch my previous couple of videos because I've been loving this one. Oh yeah, this look is coming together and I'm feeling it. For the highlighter highlighter, I think I'm gonna go for the gold, just because I always go for the gold and I'm just gonna be predictable today. I'm gonna go for the gold. I'm gonna grab that with this Lime Crime brush. Maybe I should do it with a sponge like I wanted to. I'm gonna do one side with the brush, the other side with the sponge. Grab just a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, oh my God. I'm gonna plop that right on top of that liquid highlighter at first. I mean, that is just purely stunning. Purely stunning. I'm gonna grab a little sponge. Gonna do the same thing on the other side, but with a sponge, just to see what the difference is. Ooh, the sponge adds a lot more color. So I don't really like the sponge application. I prefer either the finger or the brush. The brush, the brush gives a very subtle glow, whereas the finger really concentrates, but blends out this highlighter in just the most beautiful beaming way. Wow. Also, wow. I don't know which side you guys like more, the booming, beaming one or the subtle one. I feel like neither one of them is really subtle. They're both just so stunningly gorgeous and there's a place for both, but just don't do the sponge. Also gonna grab a little bit of the lightest shade. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the inner corner with my small brush, just for a little hint of something. And now onto the lips. Dragon Beauty Lip Job Lip Liner in the shade. Well, there's no shade, just looks pink. I'm gonna line my lips. And let's go for that candy drip. I like this one a lot. Mascara is what I need, so I'm gonna go for this Maybelline Marvel Colossal Waterproof Mascara in the shade Glam Black. I don't know, this mascara is just okay. It's not really doing much for me. Yes, Bowie. Yes, my love. Yes, Bowie. Bowie. <laughs> oh my God. Mascara's on, I didn't quite like this one. I feel like it was, uh, I don't know, a little hard to work with. But anyway, this is the look using none other than the new Hot Tropics collection by Jaclyn Cosmetics. All right, I think you can already tell the clear favorites that I'm leaning towards in this video from this entire collection. I am clearly loving the highlighters more than I'm loving everything else. Although the cream bronzers had a really nice formulation, I thought the shades weren't really evenly distributed. I thought there were far too many lighter shades and not enough deeper bronzy, coppery, deep shades for deeper skin tones. So that's my concern with that. The highlighters really is where it's at with this collection. Not only did Jaclyn give us two different formulations, a liquid highlighter and also a cream powder highlighter, but the fact that they work so beautifully together, the fact that they feel so luxurious and different from everything else that's out there is amazing. And that is what I'm here for in this video. Clearly a hit with me. I'm gonna continue trying these out. I really do love all the shades. I feel like I can use these and I can make them a part of my makeup repertoire. So for that, I'm going to have to give them a round of applause. 
the lip oils definitely something that I've seen before nothing too out of the ordinary nothing that I really care for that much but still a nice touch so if they can expand the shade range of these cream bronzers I think this collection would be even better even more elevated even more inclusive those are my final thoughts on this hot tropics Jaclyn Hill collection was it hot or not I think it was a uh, kind of hot I gotta admit I gotta admit although it did have some discrepancies here and there as always as we can expect with makeup period so with that said I am going to zoom on out so that you can click on my next two videos I have more reviews for you more Jaclyn Cosmetics reviews as well as others so click on them I see you